Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday and it's a great day. We're almost to Friday. Woo! -hoo! Are you ready for the weekend and everything that's going on? And I hope that whatever you have planned for this weekend, that you make sure and plan time for God. Make sure you plan time to be in his house on Sunday. I want to real quickly, as, as I come into your life this morning, I want to just real quickly uh, say how thankful I am. You know, in 1 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul says on more than one occasion as he's writing this letter, he says, I thank my God always for you. And as I ponder that statement, I realize that sometimes we don't always express the gratitude we feel towards others for the things they do in our lives, for who they are in our lives. And this month of November is not just a month of thanksgiving and thankfulness, but here at Crossroads, it's a month of volunteer appreciation. And this coming Sunday, we're actually having a special Sunday of volunteer appreciation with a luncheon and all of that. But I just wanted to real quickly tell all of my Crossroads family, every one of you who volunteer in any capacity, that I am so thankful for you. And I am so grateful that God brought you into my life and brought you to Crossroads Church. Every single one of you are a piece of the puzzle. Every single one of you are an answer to prayers that I have prayed, my wife has prayed, our youth pastor and his wife have prayed, our leadership has prayed. Every single one of you are an answer to those prayers. And you fit beautifully in the family at Crossroads. And I am so thankful for the part you play, the giftedness you bring, the calling that's on your life. I'm thankful. Many people think that the pastor or the leadership is the backbone of the church, but the reality is the backbone of the church is our volunteers. You women and you men show up every week. You perform your responsibilities. You do the jobs. You do the work. Some of you are in the sound booth. Some of you are at hospitality. Some of you are musicians and singers. Some of you clean the church. Some of you do teach Sunday school classes, do all of these things. And, and I want you to know that without you, we could not do what we do at Crossroads. Without you, our church would crumble and fall and we'd have to close the doors. And I am so thankful for each one of you who volunteer and who do ministry at Crossroads. No matter how it, how it works out, no matter what capacity, no matter what your giftedness is, you are important to the family of Crossroads Community Church. And my heart is just overwhelmed this morning with thanksgiving and gratitude for that. And so I want you to know that I thank my God always for you. I thank my God for those of you who come on these little devotional moments that I do every day and, and listen and watch. And I hope and pray that you get something out of them. But I'm thankful for you for clicking the button and, and joining me live or clicking the, the link and joining me later. It, it means a lot to this pastor's heart. So thank you. And uh, I'm, I'm so grateful for all that God is and all that God is doing through you and in you. And I just want to encourage you. Now is not the time to sit down. Now is not the time to quit. Now is not the time to give up. Now is the time to stand up tall, put on the armor of God, and together let's go forward and do what God has called us to do. Thank you for what you do and for who you are in Jesus Christ. I love you today. Take care of yourselves.